A shock this morning for our neighbors in Buffalo. They woke up to the earth shaking. The 3.8 magnitude earthquake was centered near West Seneca, a suburb of the, a suburb to the southeast of Buffalo, and it extended across a 30 mile radius. It was the strongest one recorded in that area in more than 40 years. Thankfully, no injuries were reported, but it certainly had people talking. Mm -hmm. News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey joins us now. And Jen, this was a bit stronger than most of the ones we're used to in this area. Yeah, the strength of this earthquake is somewhat rare for our area, but we actually do get a fair amount of earthquakes in general in western New York. So. Our emergency responders do actually train for these kind of situations. People across the Buffalo region have been sharing their videos of the earthquake all day on social media. In this one, you can actually hear it. The earthquake's epicenter was more than 70 miles west of Rochester, but it did actually reverberate here. Experts say the shake here was similar to a 2.0 earthquake, meaning nearly 20 times less than what was felt in Buffalo. But believe it or not, earthquake response is something our emergency management teams train for. If we saw a spike uh, in damage calls coming in for that, either fire, law enforcement, or EMS, or actually uh, building collapse calls, 911 has a process where they can alert the Office of Emergency staff here, the OAM staff, and we would be alerted by our cell phones just like we would for Gane. And depending on the impact, a team of at least a dozen responds to the Emergency Operations Center to determine what's needed next. Law enforcement, fire, EMS, DOT, 911 contact, those are the base elements that we would have here. Um, to then start assessing the situation and scale appropriately. The good news is none of that has been necessary for earthquake damage, but better to be prepared because quakes themselves aren't all that uncommon. It's not a surprise, really. Uh, we know that there are earthquakes in western New York. Uh, if you go online, I think there's a website where you can see all the ones that have happened over the past few years, and you'll see a bunch of twos and threes and ones, and uh, it's fairly regular. 3.8 is a little bit less common. I think there was a 3. Point, uh, there was a 4.3 just across the Lake Ontario a few years back. Again, the good news that there were no injuries reported in the Buffalo area and only one chimney collapsed in terms of damage, but it was fairly minor. Deanna.